C.H. Vaughn said, If I wished to humble anyone, I should question him about his prayers. I know nothing to compare with the topic for its sorrowful confessions. This is Daniel White the Third with the Prayer Motivator Minute. Here to remind you that there is still great power in prayer to God Almighty. In the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our prayer motivator verse for today is John chapter 14, verses 13 through 14, which reads, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Our prayer motivator quote for today is from Carl F. H. Henry. He said, Whoever only speaks of God, but never or seldom to God, easily leases body and soul to idols. The Christian thus places his whole future in jeopardy by a stunted prayer life. Holy Father God, grant us, Lord, your grace and the power of your Holy Spirit not to have a stunted prayer life. Lord, we pray that you would uh, help us to pray strong and to pray without ceasing. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Now, dear friend, before I leave you, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, your first prayer needs to be what we call the sinner's prayer. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, please pray with me this simple prayer. Believe in your heart very simply that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried and rose again. And pray with me this simple prayer. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done bad things in my life. I have offended you. Please, for Jesus Christ's sake, forgive me of my sins and help me to truly be sor uh, sorry for my sins and to repent of them. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me was buried and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you prayed that prayer, congratulations on doing the most important thing in life, and that is trusting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Until next time, pray, think, do. God bless you.